Just outside the Medina, there is a free animal drop-in clinic run by Spana, which tourists can also visit. Morning. Hi, good morning. Welcome, welcome in Spana. Spana is a global animal welfare charity with clinics and mobile centers across Morocco. I'm trying to eat my jacket, you can't have it. This place is very known in, around, in Marrakech and around Marrakech. People are coming far from 50 kilometers away from here. Yeah. So it's like a walking clinic? Yeah, yeah. You can just, just arrive. Come in, yeah, yeah. in Morocco, in the five clinics, we sell around 24,000 animals a year. Donkeys, mules and horses. But in Marrakech, we sell more than 15,000 here. A year. That's a year. So it's free for them to it's come It's free. Out. All the treatments are free. Yeah. Wow. They're free. This is so cute. We've got a, a baby donkey with its mum. So cute. You want to hug it. It's quite shy, though. They also work closely with local authorities to make sure the Kalesh owners and their horses comply with the local laws. So there are two horses over there, and once they're given the AOK -A health-wise, they're given a yellow tag which is put on their leg. Uh, one of the horses is getting checked over because apparently it's got a bit of a respiratory problem, but that one's OK, and it's going to get its yellow tag and its thumbs up for health. Oh, what's happened there? Got another animal coming in, it looks like a dog that's injured. With a constant flow of patience, the centre relies on the help of volunteer vets. Is she all right to touch? Yeah, she's friendly. Not all the animals recover well enough to work again. Others leave babies behind, which leads me to the next place I'm going to visit. Jarjia Mule and Donkey Refuge lies in the foothills of the Atlas Mountains, not far from Marrakesh. It's where donkeys go to retire. It's also an orphanage and a care centre for working equines. <laughs> They're really affectionate. Hey. The refuge centre was established by British couple Susan Matchin and Charles Hanton ten years ago. They'd come to Morocco to retire. So we lived in our villa and we didn't know what we were going to do. And then over a period of a few months, a few donkeys came for shelter and I became very interested in them. So were you donkey fans before you came here or? No, I said we were lawyers. I, I, <laughs> well, um, you could be a lawyer and well, like donkeys. No, we didn't have time for donkeys. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me, how do visitors find out about this place? Social media. Um, that good old thing. That good old thing. What tourists say is they've stayed in Marrakesh, they love Morocco, but what upsets them is seeing the donkeys working. Westerners aren't used to seeing donkeys working anymore. Mm. And th they take a view about Morocco, that Morocco is cruel to its animals, which isn't true. Mm. Morocco still uses working animals, but didn't know what to do with them at the end of their life. They come here. The couple are using their pensions to run the place. They don't charge an entrance fee and guests are free to roam and play with the animals. It's feeding time for the donkeys and yeah, they're chowing down. They were a bit hangry before and I suppose after the hard life that these donkeys have led, this is probably a really nice respite. 